Hi everyone, I want to show you how to find or make the Deathly Hallows symbol from Harry Potter, the three symbols that represent the tools the brothers used to escape death. The triangle, the invisibility cloak, the elder wand, the line, and then the circle which represents the philosopher's stone. I'm going to use pen just so it's easier to see, but normally I would use a pencil and erase the markings when I'm done. But after you draw a circle with your compass, without adjusting it, we're going to line up our ruler with the center so we can find the top. And so we're going to put the point of our compass on the top of our circle and make a mark. And we're going to go to that mark and put our point. And some of you familiar with geometry already know that six markings will fit or six circles will fit around a circle of the same size. So I'm going to make these markings, but we're only going to use the first three. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the dots from the top and then skip one, skip one mark and connect it here. We'll do the same thing here and connect it skipping one marking and we finish by connecting the two on the bottom now again if I were doing this as a real art project I would be much more careful I would be using pencil first but for the purpose of this video I want us to be able to see what we're doing so we're almost done it's very easy there's only a couple more quick steps so the next step is we're going to connect from the top of our triangle and we're going to go all the way down. I like to put the pen in the center first and then line it up and draw. The line would stop here. Normally I would erase it. I can go over with another color in a moment when we're done. So to finish, I'm going to use that center one last time. And I'm going to adjust the compass so that the pen touches the bottom of the triangle. And when it touches the bottom of the triangle, we're ready to rotate it and to make that circle. Now, the more careful you are, there should be no space whatsoever right here. But since we're doing this for a video, we tend to do a little bit of uh, speed rather than accuracy. So to finish this up, what we're looking at here, right, is we have this triangle. We could use a ruler and a pen and then we have the line representing the wand the triangle was your invisibility cloak and then of course we have that circle which represents the philo philosopher's stone and some people will write always and forever I believe so if you'd like to do a short, quick, cool project with Harry Potter, this is how we do the Deathly Hallows.